something in my eye. You better get it out. It says the Raymonds existing, or sorry, established <laughs> existing. <laughs> Hello. Isn't that like good luck? That was my husband, guys. So. Hi everyone, it's Krithi Isabella. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how I navigated my first Christmas married. It was not so long ago, just a few weeks ago, but I wanted to recap and hopefully this can help you guys who are going into this new year of 2020 and you're going to be married and in December you'll have your first Christmas married. Or for those of you in years from now who are confused and concerned about how to go about this holiday season, I'm hoping that this is going to be a roadmap to help you guys. So with that being said, let's get right on into it. First of all, when we were doing our premarital counseling prior to getting married, we were told about how we each have a family of origin and then when we get married, we have a family of creation and how we're able to take the good things from our family of origin and bring it into our family of creation and then maybe things that we didn't so much enjoy or that weren't so positive that we were able to eliminate that and didn't have to take that moving forward into our new family. So I think we were very conscientious of that moving right into marriage and then with the little holiday seasons coming around different things like Thanksgiving and now Christmas, Christmas was such a huge part of our childhood for both of our families that we wanted to make sure that we navigated that accordingly and not ruffle anybody's feathers because obviously when it's your first Christmas married it's a little bit different from your fam for your family as well of how they navigate Christmas with a new family member added to it. So um, we had discussions with our families about what days they wanted to do Christmas, like when they wanted to have dinners, when they wanted to do different activities, just to make sure that we were accommodating to everybody else um, and their schedules. But then we also had mentioned to our families that because it was our first Christmas married, we wanted to make sure that we hosted Christmas Day lunch. Um, so that actually was um, a big part of what we really wanted to do because we love having our families come over and to share in our meals and to be able to have that time together in a positive environment. So that's what one of the things that we wanted to say starting off right from the bat. Um, for you guys, your mother-in-laws or your in-laws might want to host it. Your own family might want to host it. Just make sure you guys navigate that with your respective families so nobody feels left out. So planning our Christmas, I already told Rishi that um, I wanted to make sure we put up our tree a month before Christmas. So we put up our tree November 25th, literally a month before Christmas. We actually didn't have a tree this year. We all both came from our own families. And obviously when we you live with your family, you don't have, each have your own tree. We had to de decide whether we were going to buy a real tree, as in a fresh real tree, or if we were going to buy an artificial tree from the store. And... I think in weeks prior leading up to November 25th, we were, I was talking to my father-in-law, Rishi's stepdad, and he was saying how in Trinidad, a big part of their traditions growing up was um, the Christmas tree and decorating and how they would have a fresh tree and how they would have like the best t day for Christmas day and how uh, special it was. And I wanted to make sure that um, now that they're older, they don't have a fresh tree every year. They just have this smaller tree that they keep in their house and they decorate that, that whenever they came over, they could experience the fresh tree. So we decided to do the fresh tree this year. <sighs> That's the fresh tree. <laughs> um, it's absolutely stunning, smells gorgeous. I don't know if I will do it again, only because of the cleanup and I'm a little uh, anal retentive and I need things clean. So there's like pine needles all over the ground. Um, so after we decided that we were gonna do the fresh tree, we were asking, I'm a planner, so I wanted to make sure that our tree was coordinated because as I was growing up, we just had a colorful tree. And I must tell you, as cute as that those are and can be executed very well, I was like, hell no, 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 no. So <laughs> that being said, I said, okay, what colors do you wanna do? And I thought to myself, because it was our very first Christmas married, that it should be very traditional. And I wanted to do green, red, gold, white, silver, because to me those are very traditional Christmas colors. 
and when I talked to my husband about it he actually was like oh I was thinking green and gold and red too so I was like oh we're on the same page rare occasion guys rare occasion so I was like let's do that and I ended up going with my sisters um, I asked them for help uh, that day so my brother on the 25th my brother actually ended up helping me and Rishi as well as my mom and them to buy our real trees because that's what they ended up doing as well and we set up set up each other's trees in each other's houses which was so fantastic and actually really sweet and then my sisters and I a few days before that we just actually that same day we got our ornaments my sister ended up doing I think like blue and rose gold and I ended up doing these colors and I have to tell you Canadian Tire was amazing and the dollar store like please don't ever forget Dollarama is still popping okay Christmas glory is still there so we got a lot of our ornaments from Canadian Tire and then some of our little ones from the dollar store I'm looking over here because there's actually a few ornaments that were super special to us um, that I will talk about shortly on a complete side note we got our Christmas tree at Home Depot make sure you guys check them out during Christmas time because they have great prices and the Christmas tree they come in different sizes so it can accommodate whatever space that you guys have in your home um, we also ended up picking up a train set y'all this has been a dream since I was a child the train set that we ended up picking up you can put it in the middle of the tree you can install it so it literally goes like right here or at the base of the tree and that's where we ended up putting it and I'm the whole time I was carrying it around in the store I was saying my children are gonna thank me for this one day and the lady was like yes they will so we ended up doing that and uh, the other place I forgot to mention we got our ornaments from was the winners near our home and they had some of the cutest little um, pieces there so I recommend you guys get some of your staples in bulk and then make sure you guys pick some fancy personal ornaments um, by hand old traditions what old traditions were we gonna bring into our new little family we wanted to make sure that we celebrated where we came from our heritage um, our parents our families the good things that they brought us up with so um, we sat down and talked about what were some things that we absolutely loved about Christmas growing up and one of the things that Rishi said was during Christmas Eve his parents would allow him and his siblings to pick one present and open it that night so I said I love that let's let's carry that on in our house so we ended up doing that and then for myself I it was insistent on the fact that I wanted to open all the presents all the other presents Christmas morning and he was like okay let's do that so um, those were some of the old traditions that we grew up with that we wanted to carry on the other thing was um, growing up we always would light the Christmas lights when we got home from school during the night time and have the lights on until we went to bed and so we continued doing that new traditions I started seeing pajamas pajamas online they were called family jammies and uh, little families would dress up in the exact same pajamas and they would have a look for the dad the mom the like the youth and then they would have like little ones for toddlers and then dogs um, so that all the family members in the picture could be dressed the same and I thought how fantastic was that and I talked to Rishi and I said hey I know we don't have kids so we don't necessarily need to start this but we're still a family and I would love if just even the two of us could do start this tradition so that when we do have kids it's not different and he was like okay so I went on Urban Planet and I found the cutest pajamas ever I'm wearing them right now so mine says oh oh deer and it has a picture of a deer and his antlers and the pants are the same as this print and I had the, I got the robe as well guys I had to get the rope because I get cold in the house and he got the exact same thing the only difference was the pants and his shirt says get lit so we did that and we wore these outfits for Christmas Day during the lunch and it was a pajama party at our house the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys now you guys get to see the super cute ornaments so when I was shopping with my sisters at Canadian Tire this there was a very specific image I had of kind of the theme or the look I wanted to go for and I ended up finding an ornament that I pretty much based the rest of my decor around and it was this ornament right here I was absolutely obsessed with it I love plaid so this to me was the inspiration around our Christmas tree this year 
So for our new traditions, a part of that aside from the pajamas was having heirlooms. I wanted to have something that we would put on the tree year in and year out every year as a part of our staples regardless of what colors we picked for our themed Christmas tree that year. I wanted to have some staples that our children would grow up with. I actually got these personally made and it's from somebody on Instagram and her handle is at Dax, D-A-X Creations. Fantastic girl. She was absolutely amazing, kind and super helpful. And anyways, I saw that she had created custom ornaments and I reached out to her to see if I could get her to make some of these heirloom ornaments for us and she was absolutely amazing and was able to go beyond our wildest expectations with them so the first one I'm going to show you is this one right here I'm gonna okay perfect so it said the best day ever RK and it had 8 3 2019 and on the back it had Rishi and I's wedding hashtag. It says Rishi rings wedding bells. And if you actually look on the front of this, it says the best day ever RK. This was exactly how our wedding invitations looked. This part anyway, it was in a heart and everything, but the main part of this was inspired by our wedding invitations. The second ornament that I wanna to talk to you guys about is this one right here. Hopefully this will focus. And it says our first Christmas married as Mr. and Mrs. Raymond 2019 and it has these beautiful leaflets and Mr. and Mrs. Raymond was in gold foil and again we've decided to add the wedding hashtag Rishi Rings Wedding Bells on our ornament. The last ornament or the second last ornament that I wanted to show to you guys was this heart ornament. It's clear glass and it has lace all over it and the reason why I consider this an heirloom um, ornament is because this reminded me of my wedding dress funny enough it had beautiful lace all over it and um, I felt like this would be a good reminder of the year that we got married and so yeah this will be an ornament that goes up every Christmas moving forward and last but not least the ornament that I wanted to share with you guys was a gift for my sister and my brother-in-law so it's this ornament right here and it says the Raymonds established 2019 and it's so beautiful. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was my tree topper. So Rishi and I grew up with having angels or stars on top of our tree but a part of our new tradition was I wanted something a little bit different. I actually didn't know this going into the store but I saw this and I thought oh my god this is absolutely perfect for our tree um, moving forward. We decided to go with a white dove for our tree topper and it had so many sentimental values that um, we wanted to encompass in our Christmas tree. For one, when we met, I know this is super gushy, but um, Rishi used to wear this red sweater and it had a patch of a bird on it and it was a dove. So for me, it's a symbolism of how um, our relationship started off and actually, funny enough, Rishi would call me his love dove from above. And said that when he first saw me that there was a white light and a dove so um, it starts with the origin of our relationship and funny enough so I don't know if you guys know this for those of you who are not Sri Lankan Tamils or Tamil or Indian um, for our traditions and when we get married it's not a ring that symbolizes that you're married it's a thali and a thali is pretty much a gold chain um, with two coins on the side and then a middle like a pendant if you will and so for um, our uh, pendant we had a heart and on the inside of it it had a white dove or a dove and in the Christian faith a dove symbolizes the Holy Spirit and so for us we wanted him at the center of our home the center of our tree and um, we wanted to remember what the season was truly about as much as we love all these gifts and these beautiful um, things like our Christmas trees and our traditions this holiday season was really to us about Christ and what he did for us on the cross and how he came to this earth born as a little baby in a manger and um, he was our greatest gift from God so the next thing we're going to talk about is budget we were very aware that we had only gotten married four months prior to Christmas 
Y'all know what it takes to get married and move in together for the first time. It is a huge responsibility and an undertaking and we didn't want to blow our budget or go into debt to celebrate Christmas. We wanted to be conscientious and aware of that. So we set a budget for ourselves of how much we wanted to spend and a part of that was we would not go into our credit cards to be able to fund our Christmas celebrations. My advice to you guys would be make sure you guys are not spending more than you guys are making and to set a budget that makes sense in your relationship or marriage and that it's realistic. At the end of the day, it's not about how much money you guys spend. Um, it's not about the amount of gifts you guys get. It's the love that you share in your home and in your heart for one another and in your family. And I think any good family or friends would not encourage you to spend money that you don't have. Okay, y'all? Especially because we were also going to go on a trip to New York. We wanted to make sure that we weren't going out of pocket and out of budget trying to make each other happy because it's not about the things, it's about the memories we make. Um, so we wanted to make that the focus. Now for gifts. We were so blessed by our parents this year. Rishi's mom, every time she would see myself or Rishi, she would give us a little gift. And she would say, oh, this is for putting it under the tree. And I thought that was so sweet. So we always had something under the tree. Actually, the first Christmas present to ever go under the tree was from her. So we had a few different things that she had given us along the way. I think the most special for me was she made a collage of all of our wedding pictures and wedding moments, not only from the day, but leading up to. That made it so special and she had a super cute message written on the back of that and I really 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 appreciated that I think that was the sweetest gift my mom um, went above and beyond she said she was gonna buy an air fryer and asked if we wanted an air fryer or a sari I said I want both so when she talked to Rishi he said I'm gonna just buy Keithy the sari and when she talked to me I said he'd want the air fryer to so buy him the air fryer and she ended up doing both so um, she gave Rishi the air fryer and then she took me and my sisters to a sari store and let us pick out the sari that we wanted. So she gave me the sari. It's a, a navy blue and magenta sari. It's absolutely gorgeous. And so for gifts that we gave one another. I told you guys earlier that we decided that we would open one gift Christmas Eve. Funny enough, I was under the assumption that we would get to pick our own gifts that we got to open. But it was so cute because we were at my sister's house Christmas Eve. So he had brought the gift <laughs> that he wanted me to open Christmas Eve. Um, we ended up coming home in time, so I ended up opening it at home, but it was the cutest thing what we did So because he had chosen the gift that he wanted me to open I chose the gift I wanted him to open we sat on the carpet facing one another cross-legged and we swapped each other's gifts and He opened what I gave him and I ended up giving him he really wanted a movie So I ended up giving him a Christmas story and we watched that that night in our living room and he ended up giving me this beautiful ring um, that I had seen at a jewelry store. And he had bought that for me and gave that to me Christmas Eve. Obviously, there were other gifts that we gave one another, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, I sort of just wanted to keep it simple for this. And I wanted to share that that night our, we decided to stay up Christmas Eve and watch movies. So we watched that movie, we had set the living room up and decided we wanted to sleep right by the Christmas tree. Christmas night. And we laid all of our sheets on the floor, our pillows, and slept right by the Christmas tree with the Christmas lights on, watched the movie, and at five in the morning we couldn't take it anymore. We got up and went to our own bed because the floor was too hard, even with the sheets. And I think even that made it so special. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching how I navigated my first Christmas married and I hope that this little insight helps one of you guys out there. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.